Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Except people are gonna lie to you. Um, the Philippines, people lie to you every day. Um, now I've talked about this with the communication with your family or whatever, you know, your partner and the problems you'll get with the extended family and hearing that somebody's at death's door and then you send money and then find out they all went out for a party, there was nothing wrong with them. That's normal. Um, for us, it's not. For them, it is. And the fact is, be aware people lie to you all the time because that way you can unravel it. Um, it's quite funny when you catch people lying and tell them to their face that you know they're lying because they will laugh. Um, in the Philippines, it's an insecurity thing. They're not actually mocking you. It's actually they don't know how to deal with that situation that they just walked into. Um, personally, I would just, I'm quite blunt with it, but I'm not going to sit there and make a scene out of it. I would just say, look, I know you're lying. And that's it, you know, end off. Because you don't want to be little somebody. You don't want to make them feel stupid about it or stuff because Philippines can be a bit odd. People lose false face. I call it false face because a lot of the time it's false because if they had a real face, they wouldn't have actually been trying to steal from you in the first place. Um, but it can be quite a complex thing. So uh, that's why I say I just cut it off. It's just like, look, cut your line. Don't want to talk about it. You know, get out. And then that's it. Just cancel it. Um, but you will hear it everywhere. Um, from somebody not turning up to work because they said their child was sick and then you find out that they were out partying the night before um, to people overcharging or giving double receipts. Double receipts. I haven't covered before, have I? Um, you send a builder to go and get materials and he'll come back with a receipt and give it to you. Um, Cause you've already paid him, it's just to say how much it's a cost. But the builder's merchant will give him two receipts. Uh, Cause he'll give you the receipt that he wants you to pay. And then he's already got the receipt. He paid the, uh, the amount he paid the, the guys with where he pocketed a few hundred pesos for himself or in some cases a lot more. Um, best way around this is dealing with stuff yourself. Um, I do all the construction stuff myself, get my own materials, um, but I also generally go for the bigger stuff anyway. Um, I deal with the bigger companies. Bigger companies are aware of it as well. Um, you'll find them easier to deal with because quite simply, they want your business. Um, and, uh, I would have, I've spent at least one and a half million pesos in building materials over the years, just to give you an idea of what sort of money I was spending. Um, but the fact is, they appreciate your business. Um, I only get the small guys to do the small stuff. Um, I mean, some of my tiles are, I think some of them are two and a half thousand pesos each. Uh, some of the bigger tiles, you know. Um, I think they're granite, granite or marble, can't remember now. But the, the fact is, there's expensive materials and they'll come back and say it's cost 3,000. But that's why you don't send them, because you want to go yourself anyway, because you want to check all the grains are right and stuff like that, because they will lay tiles without checking the batch codes. Um, I'm going to have to talk about construction next. <laughs> um, but the point being is, people will lie to you all the time. And as soon as you know that, you can deal with it. Don't get argue, argumentative about it, don't get angry. Just accept people will lie to you. Because once you get to that point, you're not getting annoyed about it, you're preempting it. When somebody goes, oh, the light bulb costs 200 pesos, um, it's a special energy one, blah, blah, blah. And you go, no, it's not, it's only 89. <laughs> or as I do myself, I'll just grab stuff myself when I'm out and about, it gives me an excuse to leave the house. You know, a lot of people um, assume, I love the Philippines because I don't have to do anything. But the fact is, a lot of time you just want to get out and do stuff to keep yourself busy. It's, it's great going to uh, Cebu City on your motorbike, I love it. Um, 
the bad bit is getting covered in all the smog and dust. But I'll go into Cebu City for small stuff purely because I know A, the build will be all day, but B, I'll go to the mall and have a look at the electronic stores while I'm there. Make a day of it. So just be aware, everybody lies. And a lot. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.